This is Canifis Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. My most recent chunk is the Revenant Caves, which comes with a level 89 agility requirement. This is the big problem in this chunk. The best course that I have access to in my chunks is the Canifis course, offering 17k XP per hour, over a 300 hour grind to level 89. There is one other course in my chunks, the Werewolf course, which offers up to 60k XP per hour. However, it requires a Ring of Charos, the reward from the creature of Fenkenstrain quest, which I cannot complete. The quest requires a silver bar, and despite offering a 1 billion GP bounty on the silver bar a few episodes ago, no one could come up with a method within my chunks to source one for me that was better than just waiting for enough lamps to lamp up to 27 Hunter for baby implings, which dropped the silver bar at a 1 in 100 rate. The issue is, I'm only level 16 Hunter, and by the time I've been logged in long enough to have received the 40 lamps that I require for 27 Hunter, I will have long since completed the level 89 agility via the Canifis course anyway. This is the problem. To save myself nearly 200 hours of agility, I need either a silver bar or a way to train my Hunter to level 27, and despite unlocking 35 chunks in the Mauritania, Varrock and Wilderness regions, my hunter is currently impossible to train. Or is it? This is the story of how I developed the most expensive skilling method ever, spending over 300 million GP to get 6,000 hunter XP. Demonic Thrones have previously been considered the most expensive training method in the game, costing 1,000 GP per XP. For this high cost you can at least gain upwards of 20 million XP per hour. My method cost me 50,000 GP per XP, 50 times as much, however it yielded less XP per hour, a lot less, roughly 400 XP per hour to be exact. Thank you for watching and welcome back to Canifis Chunk. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm a RuneScape player, so, you know, number go up just feels good, doesn't it? I'm uh, putting in extra effort this, uh, the next kind of, up until Christmas, trying to release a video per week. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, big news. First clip of the video, and this isn't kind of what I'd expect to be talking about, but the Forestry Part 2 update was just released. And it looks like there is repeatable Hunter XP if you have level 16 Hunter or above, which luckily I do. Um, I can't actually spawn the events myself because I don't have any of the forestry uh, stuff, but I believe I can go on another account and spawn forestry items for myself. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, so here is the one pet at a time account, currently 97 woodcutting, and got a decent amount of forestry stuff. This is like the only account I've done any forestry on. Um, so I believe what I need is this trap disarmor. Uh, trap disarmors are used... Uh, okay, so what I need... Oh, that's in the bag, isn't it? So I need to go to the shop. Trap disarmor blueprint... Blueprint is used as a pattern for creating a set of trap diamonds. You will also need bronze wire, iron, and iron bar, and that makes 10. Okay, so let's just get a few and then see if we can see if we, we'll grab some bronze wire and some iron bars and see if we can spawn ourselves some events. Just an aside, look at the stats on this account. I did this in like two months without being able to train any of the skills. So that 70 agility was done entirely on shortcuts <laughs> and the mining done entirely at like Guardians of the Rift and stuff like that. That's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> right, so let's buy some bronze bars. Why is there only two in Stark? Is that because other people buy them? Probably. Cool, so let's make some of these. Uh, I need to make... Why is it just default? Oh, fucking hell. Right. Default to that. I need some bronze wires. So let's make those. And then we should be able to make 50 trap design blueprints. Hopefully it's just one per catch. And then we should be good. I'm hoping that these events will spawn. What I might do is I might use and abuse the mark community a little bit. And okay, right. So we make the trap disarmers. Cool. 
Um, I'm hoping that I'll still be able to get the repeatable Hunter XP without sort of partaking in the event. Interesting. Even making them gets XP. I don't know what the level requirement is on that, although I guess I'm one on kind of fish Um But what I need to do now is go and spawn some events using forestry. Uh, so what I might do is I'm uploading a video <laughs> right now this second. When that goes live, what I might do is see if I can get some people to come and chop with me some U logs over, in, uh, over here, a place I can actually do it. And then... I might be kind of laughing. So what I'm going to do is for now is go over here and just start chopping. And then if I spawn one of the hunter events, uh, I'll teleport to Varrock real quick and try and come and do it. So I'm actually just going to camp at the tree with the alt just, to, uh, just until we spawn one so I can see if it's actually worth it. Otherwise, I'm just going to... Uh, kick back and relax we might do some experimentation with this so it's quite annoying chopping all the logs and dropping them on my alternative account but it might not actually necessarily have to be like that if i can just like chop one log with the with the forestry kit and then that sort of sets the tree up ready to spawn an event when it falls over then that could be a kind of slightly more afk way to do it but i think for now if i can just brute spawn for spawn some events by myself, that would be ideal. Ah, right, we spawned an event, but I have no idea. Okay. Okay, looks like free fletching XP by the looks of it. Okay. <laughs> no idea what any of these are. I'm sure by the time you're watching this, this is old. But I don't need XP on my main account, on my one pet account, so I guess I'll stick with this. So this looks like one of the new ones. Although I do get anima infused bark, which is interesting. I didn't think I'd get any if I didn't have the forestry kit. Um, am I supposed to be doing something else? Oh, breezy at the back. Okay. Okay, looks like if you click like that you can do it do i need to do all of them or can i just do the same one over and over i'm not entirely sure looks like i can just do the same one over and over so free fletching xp i guess i'll take it um and hopefully the hunter xp will be good as good as this because if it is we could be on to a winner here perfect is can't leave me alone okay a leafy mullet so how much fletching xp was that what uh a lot? 600 XP? What? If I can get 600 Hunter XP in one of these events, that would be very, very cool indeed. And I got some magic leaves. Cool! Right. <laughs> well, I can definitely spawn and participate in forestry events then. And that is big news, because if we spawn the Hunter one, I believe there's decent Hunter XP on offer. And... That could be crazy. That could be really crazy. This could be really big, actually, because I just realised as well, um, if I can get the Hunter XP up a decent amount, I can get Bowstring from Young Implings. And if I can get the Bowstring from Young Implings, then I can also make a Bowstring, which I can use on my Magic Logs, so I can get a Magic Shortbow to use at the Revenants. And a Magic Shortbow at the Revenants is a big step up from the uh from the from the maple one that i've got so that would be a huge help as well oh this is so exciting oh fuck here we go right where are the where are the traps okay there they are right eight hunter xp okay this is definitely repeatable hunter xp is it any good though 8 XP per go isn't what I'd consider a lot, to be honest. Okay, okay, right. Repeatable Hunter XP, though, that it is. So I would say that that works to me. How many did we get? <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. So we're getting what five per go. This is decent XP, you know. Eight per is decent. I've, also, this guy just spawned in, which is quite good. <laughs> Means I don't have to waste my own uh, charges. 74. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to watch that recording back and see how many we actually got. But I think that's decent XP, you know. Okay, so I watched it back and we got 112 Hunter XP um, from the one event. So... How much XP do I need for level 27? Uh, none of my skills are close. Okay, so level 27 is 9,700 XP. So in theory, I'd need, what, 65 events to get the XP? But I guess the XP would go up as well. So let's call it 50, 55 events. Is that a lot? I can't really decide. I mean, I do need to be doing some woodcutting anyway. It just, I guess, depends how often the events spawn and how often they're the fox one as well um but that could be kind of huge i mean this is r fairly repeatable hunter xp i mean it definitely falls under like meme xp rates uh so it, I, i'm not going to count it as a primary hunter method but for if i want to train hunter like i do at the moment not too bad like repeatable relatively so i need the oak logs anyway to get the fletching and fire making levels so yeah this could be kind of big i mean it would be better if i didn't have to be here uh, i'm trying to think if there are better trees that i could chop on the the alternative account to spawn events in that i could just like teleport straight into um, on this account, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't think of anything better than this, like closer to a teleport. I mean, the only teleport I've got that I can use is Varrock, and there's no trees around there. Uh, is there definitely not any others? No, not really. No, that's a shame. If I, if I had Edgeville, I bet there's loads of people out there using Edgeville. So that would have been really nice, but I guess you can't win them all. But this is decent. I'm going to keep trialing it and just see what the XP per hour we can get is. But we technically now have repeatable Hunter XP. So that level 27 may not be as far away as it seems. Here we go again. Let's go. Right. Okay. Next one's over there. So I think I need to do it on this account first and then I can do it. Uh, cool. Right. We got this down and that spawned what? 20 minutes after the last one? So I would say the rate is not too bad and we are going to be flying through hunter levels. Come on. Come on. This is so good. Right. I just need to stick with this. Because you know what Jagex are like, it's just a matter of time until they throw a nerf in or something stupid. Um, but hopefully we'll get away with it. Right, there's level 17, which means we can bear, which means we can catch them with a butterfly net. But what we need is to be able to catch them barehanded. So 10 levels to go. Do we get any increased XP? No, still 8 Hunter XP. Hopefully that will go up to 9 soon. Oh, it appears we're getting sort of like 8.9 or something, or like 8 point something, because I am getting 9 XP occasionally. Uh, yeah, there's 9. So yeah, it looks like it's 8.5 at the minute, which is good. Nice. Oh, I wish, oh, I, wish I got a, a lump of Hunter XP at the end instead of a lump of Woodcutting XP. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah. Exciting times, exciting times. This is really game changing. Okay, and good news is I thought with the trap disarmers on the alternative account, I'd lose one per trap, but it's one per event. So I've got 50 events banked on that account and I can easily get more. So we should be covered um, in terms of the materials that we need to spawn all the events that we need to hit 27 Hunter. Oh, okay, I just realised... Eight and a half is half of 17, isn't it? So the XP is half an XP per level. So yeah, the XP will go up, to, you know, kind of lin linearly, 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 
with uh, with the levels that we get. So that's good news, actually, really good news, because that means that it's going to keep consistently going up. And we're probably talking, what, 50, 55 events? And if we can keep spawning a few an hour, which is the rate we're getting at the minute, we could get this uh, 27 uh, Hunter relatively quickly. Future Fry here. Ah, the naivety of youth. So um, that's the issue with tiny little sample sizes like what I just had. Three in an hour. It would have been brilliant if that had been the rate on the Fox events. However, the rate on the Fox events is easily several hours per one on average. I just got incredibly lucky at the start. Um, and you'll see as this video goes on that uh, the rate is terrible. Um, and actually, uh, the, we, we haven't really got to the training method mentioned at the start of the video yet. And, uh, you know, the rate being so low on the fox spawns is exactly why things had to get so drastic later on. Now oh, I get in the bin. The one pet account got the genie and my account got the fucking sandwich. Have a baguette. Go on, get the stale one. Never lucky. This new leprechaun event is pretty cool. Apparently, if I stand over here, I get some kind of bonus XP. And then I chop the oaks and I get 204 XP each. What? Okay. <laughs> That's madness. That's madness. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I just got a farm. Yeah, I did. Farming XP off of that. This level one farming training? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what the XP drop is off this. 2.3k, not bad, and some leaves. Ah, oh, it takes ages for that tree to come back, doesn't it? Rip. Okay, this is another one of the new ones, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, so looks like Okay. Okay, right. So I have to retrieve retrieve the egg. Okay, it seems like it is. Oh my god. Okay, right. So I've got to grab the egg from the nest that doesn't have one in and give it to the guy. Can I do more than one egg? Or no? No, one egg only by the looks of it. Okay, right. Pheasant tail feathers. I think that's some kind of outfit. Is that right? Okay, right. Here we go. I don't know why I'm recording this. This must be such dead content for you guys. Although this is decent thieving XP. 20 XP per go. And it's pretty quick. Now, this is more XP than... than the hunter one, for sure. Um... Cool, right, this is this is pretty neat, I guess. Not too bad, bit of hunter XP. Oh, I hate PK so much there, I said it. Okay. What oh. Okay, right. Got the DDS prayer on, which is the main thing. Let's look up this guy. Bot demolish, 33. Let's see. he's called bot demolisher, so let's see if he offs if I show that I'm a real person. No. Fair enough. Doesn't give a fuck. I can respect that. Come on. Even I'm getting these power switches. Easy. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, this is too easy. You're garbage. I didn't even try for that one. That was a mistake. Shocking. Shocking. Terrible. Although maybe I'm just used to the fucking... <laughs> to the androids with uh, AHK that I normally run into. Someone pointed out in the last video, uh, about 48 minutes, that the guy that PKs me is like definitely using AHK. And I looked at it back and I was he was definitely right. He definitely was. Okay, the whole time I've had the looting bag, I've only seen this comment once on the last video, which is quite a surprise, because normally when I fuck things up, a lot of people know already. So I'm going to start saying this as though not too many of you actually know. The looting bag, you can set up in the settings 
so that it only puts supplies in your invent. So now I've got it. So all the normal loot goes into the looting bag and all the food get and um, potions get filtered out straight into my invent, which is fucking great. Who knew? Uh, genuinely, that is amazing. So, so, so handy. So I've just ran a little test and we got 29 Pyrefiend kills in 15 minutes, which means we're getting about 116 kills per hour, which may not sound too great, but in actual fact, that is a unique about every 40 hours. And bear in mind, my input into this method is basically nothing. So if I die for maple short bows and add the arrows, like who cares? Um, so it's actually quite big because I might stick to this even after getting rev weapon. So if I unskull at quads or anywhere or, or orcs or anything with the crossbow, I was getting a unique about every 50 hours. So sculled with the maple short bow is actually 10 hours faster per unique than unskulled with a crossbow. And there's no risk at all of me losing anything. So I either need to skull up with the crossbow and just take the risk or just unskull with the maple short or, or just skull up with the maple short bow for zero risk and, you know, get them at half the rate of skulled crawls but faster than unskulled crawls. Um, so that's pretty interesting. For It's going to be an interesting choice next time we get a... Uh, next time we get a revs weapon but that's 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 cool i think so one of the things that is, that is a bit gutting about losing the crossbow is losing the loot in terms of like just the gp that i got from the quads was just crazy so i mean this is nothing in comparison but still it's decent gp the unique rate is pretty good and it's incredibly low risk and I can just do it all day every day without worrying about it. And also I need to bank less and I get attacked far less as well. So I think in the real world, this is actually a very, very good method, killing the Pyrofiends. Also, I'm net positive on ether using this method by a lot. So yeah, this, this just could be the way. Oh, you love to see a lamp on the uh, on the chunk accounts. Chuck that onto Hunter. Get us to nearly level 18. Flying through it. And by far flying through it, obviously what I mean is getting like 100 XP per day, if that. <laughs> and here is level 84 range. A very nice level in account. One away from 85. Really, really getting up there with the range levels, which is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so what I've done is I'm hosting an event in my clan chat at the moment. Uh, I've got, what, five people in there um, on top of my own out. Uh, hopefully more will join because this is actually 30 minutes before the event officially starts. But what we're doing is everyone is at these exact trees in different worlds. What that means is that if they spawn a fox event whilst doing the, uh, the wood chopping, then what will happen is I will hop to the uh, I will hop to the world that they call out and grab all the hunter XP that I can before I do. I'm paying them five mil per fox event spawned, so good money. Seeing as I spawned three in an hour yesterday, uh, I think that was probably pretty lucky. But if we can get you know, if I can get four or five in an hour with the helpers, I'll be really happy with that. Any more than that will be, you know, massive. Oh, here we go. I spawned my own one, which is good. That uh, means I don't have to pay five mil for it. Good times. Cool. Right, this will be some Hunter XP then. Right, we just got level 18 Hunter, which is the first level. These events go on for so long. I'm kind of worried that what's going to happen is I'm going to end up having like... um too many spawn at once and like people will be calling them and I won't be able to get there. I mean, that would be pretty insane in of itself, but I'd feel bad for not paying them <laughs> if I don't get to their event in time. Although maybe I'll just pay them anyway, but I'm, I'm optimistic right now. We've got nine hunter levels to go and I'm hoping that the XP per hour doing this will be decent.
Right, we got our first event call. Sweaty socks in world three, five, one. Let's go. How much XP are we going to get off this then? Okay, so we got nine XP there. Hopefully he called it really early. What a guy. Here we go. Okay, so this was 15 minutes after my one, and we're just getting more and more people joining the CC, uh, joining the friends chat. So, so I started at 3,424 XP. So in, what, 15 minutes we've had a couple hundred XP. That's really not bad. Right, we'll 496 at the same time. Okay, well, 496 when we're done. So as soon as this event finishes, we'll hop straight into that world. Should be a little bit of overlap here, not too much, but these events take a long time. So I'm, what I was hoping was that I'd literally just be hopping around at these events the whole time. I'm gonna have to get people to backlog. Uh, cool, uh, there we go. And we just got our next one. Nice, that was, I don't know, it's been less than half an hour and we've got three though, so we're doing quite well, I would say. And here is another event in World 309. Looks like we got here pretty early. Hopefully we can get the second trap as well. So I've currently got 16 other accounts spawning events for me in every world, and they're still not coming in as quick as I'd like. Um, hopefully it's just RNG and they start coming a bit quicker, but yeah, the XP per hour is not fantastic. It's still it's probably a few hundred, 500 max at the moment. So not bad, but I think we can do better. Cheeky little lamp whilst doing the forestry grind. So there is... Level 19 Hunter, doing well, doing well. And here is another one. We should be getting another 120 or so XP from this. That's very, very nice. And another one. Good times, good times. Hope we can keep that fox alive. Looks like we've managed it. Good stuff. Right. On to another one. Midway through 19, hopefully 20 soon. <laughs> lol three spawned at once i got this one and then some people got them in 474 and 421 as well that's such a rip <laughs> right and here we go that is level 20 hunter not bad at all very cool so we've got what, three levels in a kind of two and a half hour session that's really not bad. And our luck has been pretty poor as well. So, yeah, this is very exciting. Oh, and here we go again. We've got the uh, got the PKer on us. This guy's actually kind of working us, though. Look at this. Yeah, you love to see the splashes. See ya. See ya! Love that. Love that. Okay, so Jagex have said that they're making some changes to Forestry Part 2, and God only knows what changes means. So uh, I'm, I'm slightly nervous they might break this method by the update next week. So it's currently Friday, and they'll, they'll only make a change on Wednesday at the earliest. So what I'm going to do is sweat out as much Hunter with the Forestry method as I can, before then, um, we've got a decent amount of people in the French chat at the minute. It's early in the morning, so there's not too many. Um, but we're, uh, we're, 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 we'll get more over time. So more people will join, more foxes will spawn, and hopefully the XP per hour will kind of go up past the uh, you know 400-ish XP per hour I was getting yesterday. <laughs> Oh, now I'm level 20, getting 10 XP per one is just nice. 
Oh, I love this method. This is so nice. Like, I can't believe I'm going to get 27 Hunter. Like, I'm not going to say easily because it's costing me hundreds of mil. <laughs> but, you know, pretty well, I would say. Um, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting it done. I mean, it's going to be, what, two or three hundred mil at least for, like, 6,000 Hunter XP. But, you know, it's the most expensive training method in game. I think someone worked it out for me yesterday as being about 35,000 GP per XP. <laughs> so uh yeah quite expensive so for the efforts of uh getting me a hundred and what 140 hunter xp i think it was uh there is five million gp for this guy so uh good uh good little money maker for these people <laughs> to be honest but uh yeah onwards to the next one I spawned my own fox event on the out, so free XP here, not having to spend 5 mil on this one. Good times. Oh, we're going straight into another one, literally straight away. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. We're here. Oh, got it. Okay. Good times. So we're 183 XP off, so let's see how much we get from this one. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we only got about 100 XP from that one because I, for some reason I failed one of the traps. I don't know if that's my fault or it just happens. Uh, but we should be getting 21 Hunter from the next event. Good times. And here is level 21 Hunter. Things you love to see. Just six levels to go. Oh, God, I feel so good about this. Oh, paying the XP, 300 or so Hunter XP from this guy. So 15 mil down. <laughs> Things you love to see. I'll tell you what, whilst doing this, I'm banking an awful lot of uh, Oak Logs. Look at... Where's our stack? There they are, 5.2k Oak Logs, and it's only going up. So that's nice uh, fletching and Hunter XP. Not too bad. And here should be... Level 22 Hunter. Five levels to go. I can now catch young implings, but I would need a net to do that. So to bare hand uh, baby imps, we need 27. And to bare hand youngs, we need 32. So nearly done. Getting through it quite quick. Coming in with level 79 woodcutting. Only one level away from level 80. Um, I reckon by my calculations I should get about 81 by the time I'm get, I've got 27. And here is level 23 Hunter. We could hunt wild kebits if we could. Four more levels to go. Nice. <laughs> oh, things you love to see. I just finished a fox event here and then decided to uh, quit doing them for the day. And then we just got a little lamp, uh, five minutes logged in. Things you love to see. Let's chuck that in Hunter as well. Nearly level 24 now. We are flying through it. And here is level 24 Hunter. Good times. Right, we could do Willow Bird Houses if we had it unlocked. Very nifty. Uh, just three levels to go. Exciting times. Cheeky little freaky forester, get ourselves a little hat. Good times, good times. If we get a, if we get another one of those soon, I believe because I've got maybe I need one more item, but I think I'm pretty much done. I should start getting lamps from that soon, which will be very nice indeed. And I've just paid this guy out fifteen mil in like the last, uh, the last. 20 minutes if that he's got so lucky but there is level 25 hunter just two to go good times good times oh things you love to see the genie yes all right hunter 250 xp huge huge we love it Oh, just to look, my cash stack is dwindling to the extreme. There is another 5 million GP paid out to Ravage Dees, who has taken quite a lot of money off me so far. So, um, yeah. Daddy Airplane! Daddy Airplane! 
Oh, I feel bloody excellent when I spawn one for myself and it doesn't cost me a bunch of money. This one is going to be level 26 hunter as well, so only one level to go after this. Exciting times. And there is 26 hunter. Feeling good, feeling good. All right, how much XP to go? 971 XP. Hopefully, hopefully we can get that this morning. <laughs> oh, that's a nice way to cheat some XP. Two, nice little free 260 XP from a genie. Lovely, things you love to see. 659 XP to go. You see, this is why you need to do the paying for a whole clan chat to do it for you method, because it's been half an hour without a Fox event, and look how many people are in here, like what, 20-ish? And there's been half an hour with no Fox events. So if I was doing this by myself, you would times that half an hour by 20, so it would have been 10 hours without me getting a Fox event, and a Fox event is like 100 XP. So yeah, the clan chat is very much necessary for this and why this is the most expensive training method ever. Decent little level here, level 80, but someone just shouted it in five, three, four that I just saw. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I would have loved to have done a bit more of a clip for, uh, for 80 woodcut in, but here we go. Right, let's see if we can get Level 27 from this one, we're on 139 XP to go, so there is a decent chance that we can get it. Good that it spawned directly under us. Good stuff. Um, yeah, this should be level 27, which is going to be an absolutely massive level for us. Let's keep sending it, see what we can get. It's amazing that this is actually a method, I'm still blown away. Um, so expensive <laughs> to do, to pay all these people, but worth it, I would say. Um, let's grab this one. 74 XP to go. We should be getting it from this event, I'm hoping. A lot of people showing up. Cool, 48 XP, so we just need four more, including this one. So one. Can't believe it happened in the 80 woodcutting clip as well, that's so funny. Two, 22 XP to go. And this will be the last one. There it is, 27 Hunter. Which it, it is such a small thing, it didn't even bring up why it's why it's interesting. But barehanded baby implings, they spawn over there out the east of Varrock. That means that we can now get the one in 100 silver bar from baby implings, which will allow us to complete Creature of Fenk and Strain, which will give us the Ring of Charos which will let us get access to the werewolf course. So we have smashed it. Awesome. Right, let's do this drop party then. So this is the stuff that we're going to be dropping off the main. Don't tell me that I don't feed the boys when they help me out. Uh, I'm not going to be dropping the 192 mil, but I'm going to be dropping the rest of this stuff. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they're happy with this amount for the work that they put in. This, this took a long time. I mean, even with all these helpers, this probably took, I'm oh, sorry, wrong account. This probably took about 20 hours <laughs> with all of the uh with all of the helpers that we had. So yeah, huge grind, very expensive grind, but a massive massive goal for the account. So uh yeah, let's do this drop party then. Right. So Let's just get started. Oh, I'm not going to have to do that every single time, am I? So we'll start with the low value stuff. It looks so satisfying on the ground. Oh, when we get to the orange, it looks really bloody good. Here we keep going. Oh, well, put it down. It turns into a, into a zero.
Okay, now time for the big ticket items. The Armadale God Swords are going down now. So anyone clever is not going to be chasing the uh, the tops around. They're going to be uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Right, they're going. <laughs> There's a third aid range legs down. Third aid range top, and we'll put the spectral over here out of the way. There we go. Look how good that looks. Thing of beauty. Right. Let's hop on this account so we can see the items show up when they do. Carol's leather tops are coming through now. Doesn't it look so good having a... Uh, having a like real old school drop party rather than a giveaway we love a drop party oh there was the ags <laughs> let's see what anyone gets <laughs> oh i don't think they were expecting it to be this big that's so funny there's actually not that many of them as well it's like probably 20 people here that actually helped so we're looking pretty good. Who's going to get the legs? Oh, Ranger's here. Got it. And the top, I think, is over here. Oh, Lord Jimbo. And the last item, the Spectral Spirit Shield over there. <laughs> Only Moly got it, I think. <laughs> oh. Oh, hopefully they enjoy I love seeing an old school drop party. That's so funny. <laughs> got an AGS. Did that person... Lol, that person got an AGS. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. I think it was only Moly that got the spectral. <laughs> oh, it's nice when it's like actually kind of like low level noobs that get it. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. I mean, he's not a low level noob, really, but yeah, nice that it's not like people in Max Capes and Infernal Capes getting it. Um,. Look at that, Lord Jim Bob with the third age range top. What a guy. Awesome. Right. Time to go and get our silver bar. Well, I'm not going to go and do that right now because I've got to go out to a work meeting. How tedious. But uh, when I get back, well, am I even going to do it in this video? I might do. We'll see. We'll see. So how much bark did we actually get from all that? So on a non-forestry account, we got 4,200 bark. That's not even bad, is it? Um, I think that's actually quite a decent amount of rewards if I had access to a forester. Uh, forester? What are they called? Yeah, I think it's a forester. Um, but yeah, we got the level we needed. That is massive. I'm going to start probably scouting some baby implings over here. If it's easy, I'll probably do it myself. If it's tricky, I won't. So I am back from my meeting and it is five past five and what we're going to do is look for some baby implings and we just found one as quickly as that. So uh, let's go grab this first baby impling, check that we in fact can bare hand it, let's see. And there we go, what did we get? No nothing? nothing <laughs> I don't think but good sign that it was so easy to spot and um, we hop through the world and it was highlighted which is good so what I'm going to be doing now is just basically hopping through the worlds and seeing if we can see them I believe they spawn over here so I think if I just what walk left to right I should see quite a lot of them probably Okay, it took us about four minutes to find a second one, so it doesn't seem too bad. What do we get this time? A knife. Not what we want, but we shall keep hopping. I believe the spawn is like here-ish, so hopefully we can spawn some more. And there is a third one that's going to give us a hammer. Not very exciting at all. Okay, so I've got Stella in the room with me, and she is making some hilarious noises. 
Um, so the, it looks like the wander range on these Imblings is very far. And I spot them about one in every ten worlds, so it's not the best. Seems you can get nothing from this relatively often, seeing as I've got it two in four. Um, so, yeah, not sure if I might just host a community event to find me baby implings, even though it's relatively easy, just so I can, uh, you know, engage with the community a bit, give some uh, give some GP away, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem too bad getting these baby implings. I'm sure we will wrap up 100 relatively quickly. Uh, just to note, this does not count as a primary training method. Uh, implings only count as a primary training method inside Pura Puro, and we do not currently have access to Pura Puro, Pura Puro at all. So, yeah, we're not we're not landing ourselves with any stupid hunter grinds just yet. Though now I'm level seventeen twenty seven. When I, what are you doing? She's like smashing a fan against the wall. Um, when I get to level. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Um, when I get to level 7, when I get to Pura Pura, I will land myself with a grind uh, to get 89 Hunter, I believe, inside Pura Pura, so that would not be very fun. Um, but, you know, we've got to complete this chunk first, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just crack back on with this. So, a bit of a shorter episode this week, and that is just because getting the level 27 Hunter took a long time with not a lot of clips, because we were mostly just woodcutting yous the whole time um, and hopping for events, so just not too many clips. But I would like to say a huge thank you to the channel members, who, as always, are Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Sound Lexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, and three new members at the gold tier, Hazmat83, Nilo360, and Crow Poro. And then on to the higher tier members, we have Kurito and El Pinin at the Rune and Legend tier, respectively. We had Fireball Tech uh, become a member last week, straight in at the Rune tier, which was pretty cool. We have Fontcest at the Amethyst tier, Sir Yolo, who upgraded to the Amethyst tier last week, and the big man himself, L.S., who upgraded his membership yet again to the You Really Wouldn't Dare tier, and he left a goading comment in the, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in, in the comments of the video saying, double it. So uh, what we've done is we've created yet another membership tier, even higher than the last one, surely not, surely tier. And uh, that is the highest amount that YouTube will let me do. So if LS manages to... Uh, I feel like I'm at war with my own channel member here, but if he manages to upgrade again, there's really nowhere left for me to go. And, you know, if, <laughs> if he wants to support further, he'll have to do super thanks or, or something. Um, I don't know what the other YouTube things are. Um, but yeah, massive, massive thank you to him and all the channel members who let me continue doing this, keeping my wife happy with me spending hours and hours and hours on this stupid video game. Um, Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. It's been a pleasure this week. Getting 27 Hunter is huge for the account. And in the next video, instead of taking sponsorships, well, you know, we don't really take sponsorships on this channel, but I'm going to be releasing merch. Merchandise! Yeah, we all love merchandise. Um, so that's going to be instead of me taking sponsorships basically on this account. I would like to see what I can do by selling my own stuff, you know, putting the effort in, um, releasing stuff that hopefully you guys can, 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 can buy, really like, um, and, you know, enjoy that way rather than having to see a sponsorship for some shit mobile game that you're never going to download or play. Um, you know, that's not a dig at any other YouTubers. I mean, maybe I'll end up doing that um, eventually. Um, but I'd like not to. So I'm going to release some merch next week, hopefully, or or at least when the next video comes out. And I'm hoping you guys will love that. But uh, yeah, um, good video. We'll be back at The Revenants next week quite extensively, I think, because 
yeah, we just need to get the silver bar, get the get get the quest done, which shouldn't be too bad. And then, yeah, we just need to start hammering out the revenants and getting those revenant weapons back. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly slower paced episode with slightly less PKs attacking me. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.